Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to divide numbers without remainders. Division is the opposite of multiplication. So if you have, you know, memorized your multiplications times tables, then it should be pretty easy, right? Because they're kind of like two sides of the same coin. So for a lot of the numbers without remainders, pretty much anything through 100, if you're dividing by it, it's just the opposite of multiplying. So if you've already memorized that 3 times 9 is 27, you know that when you have 27 divided by 9, it's going to be that other piece, the 3. Or 27 divided by 3, it's going to be the 9. If it's some number over 100 that you haven't memorized, then we can set it up. Let's look at 3 ohm into 156. Now, when you're doing this, you want to do 3 and you want to look and see if it goes into the first number. So does 3 go into 1? No. Does 3 go into 15? Let's look at the first two numbers. Yes. How many times? Well, we've memorized our multiplications times tables. It goes in 5 times. So then we do 3 times 5, what we just did. We know it's 15. We line it up under the 15. We subtract 15 minus 15, and we get 0. Then we have to bring down any remaining numbers. Well, there's still a 6 left. So we bring down the 6. We do 3 into 6. That goes in 2 times. We write the 2 right above the 6. Make sure you have perfect alignment and placement of the numbers. Again, you multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. And again, subtract. And you end up with 0. So there's no remainder. So the answer is 52. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with me today.